The Reddy dynasty was established in southern India by Prolaya Vema Reddy. The region that was ruled by the Reddy dynasty is now part of modern-day coastal and central Andhra Pradesh. Prolaya Vema Reddy was part of the confederation that started a movement against the invading Turkic armies of the Delhi Sultanate in 1323 and succeeded in repulsing them from Warangal. The modern castes of Andhra region did not originate until the late stages of the Vijayanagara Empire. Origin The fall of the Kakatiya Kingdom in 1323, after being subject to seizes by the Tughlaq dynasty, led to a political vacuum in the Andras. The Islamic conquerors failed to keep the region under effective control and constant infighting among themselves, coupled with the martial abilities of the local Telugu warriors, led to the loss of the entire region by 1347. Whilst this led to the rise of the Musunaris and Richarlas in the Telangana regions, the coastal belt saw the rise of a third warrior lineage, the Reddies of the Panta clan, established in about 1325 by Prolaya Vema Reddy, also known as Kamati Vema, his territory extended along the coast to Nellar in the south and Sarisai Lam, in the west. He was succeeded by Anavota Reddy who consolidated the kingdom extensively and established its capital at Kondavidu in Gunter district. By 1395, a second Reddy kingdom was established by a branch of the same lineage, with its capital in Rajamundri, East Godavari district. None of the Reddy lineages find any mention in Kakadian era sources and cannot be exactly traced as to their origins, but, their inscriptions and humble genealogies suggest that they were born out of the late Kakatiya military milieu and had a continuity with the local tel Telugu warrior culture. Topic: <inaudible> Extent of rule. The Reddy kings ruled coastal and central Andhra for over a hundred years, from 1325 to 1448. At its maximum extent, the Reddy kingdom stretched from Cuttack, Orissa to the north, Kanchi to the south, and Surisai Lam to the west. The initial capital of the kingdom was Adonki. Later, it was moved to Kondavidu and a subsidiary branch was established at Rajamundri. The Reddies were known for their fortifications. Two major hill forts, one at Kondapalli, 20 km northwest of Vijayawada and another at Kondavidu about 30 km west of Gunter stand testimony to the fort-building skill of the Reddy kings. The forts of Belamkonda, Vinukonda and Nagarjunakonda in the Palnadu region were also part of the Reddy kingdom. The dynasty remained in power till the middle of the 15th century. In 1424, Kondavidu was annexed to the Vijayanagara Empire and Rajamundri was conquered by the Gajapatis some 25 years alter. The Gajapatis eventually lost control of coastal Andhra after the defeat of Gajapati Prataprudra Deva by Krishna Deva Raya of Vijayanagara. The territories of the Reddy Kingdom thus came under the control of the Vijayanagara Empire. Religion The Reddy rulers played a prominent part in post-Kakatiyas of Telangana. The Kakatiya Empire came to an end in 1323 after the army of the Delhi Sultanate invaded Warangal and captured Kakatiya ruler Pratapa Warangal fell to the invaders and Ula Khan commanded Warangal and Telangana. During this time of foreign invasion and chaos in Telugu country, seeds of revolt were sown by two princes, Anaya Mantri and Kalani Rudradeva. They united the Telugu nobles with the purpose of reclaiming the kingdom. Musunyori Prolaya Nayaka, Prolaya Vema Reddy, Richarla Singama Nayaka, Kapula Prolaya Nayaka and Manchikanda Gunapadinayaka were the prominent nobles. Musunyori Prolaya Nayaka was the chosen leader of this confederation of Telugu nobles who united and vowed to put an end to the Sultanate's rule. They succeeded in repulsing those forces from Warangal and then established independent kingdoms of their own. It was during this chaotic period in Andhra history that Prolaya Vema Reddy established the Reddy Kingdom in 1325. The Reddy rulers patronized and protected Hinduism and its institutions. The Brahmins were given liberal grants by the Reddy kings and the Agraharas of Brahmins were restored. Vedic studies were encouraged. The Hindu temples of Sarisailam and Ahabilam were provided with more facilities. Prolaya Vema Reddy bestowed a number of Agraharas on the Brahmins. He was revered by the title of Apratima Buddhana Parasarama. 
He commissioned major repairs to the Surisailam Malakarjuna Swami Temple, and had a flight of steps built from the Krishna River to the temple. The Narasimha Swami Temple at Ahabilam was built during his reign. He built 108 temples for Shiva. Literature Telugu literature blossomed under the Reddy kings. The Reddy kings also patronized Sanskrit. Several of the Reddy kings themselves were distinguished scholars and authors. Kumaragiri Reddy, Kataya Vema Reddy and Petakomati Vema Reddy were the most outstanding among them. Arapragata Arana, Srinatha and Patana were the remarkable poets of this period. Arapragada, the last of the Kavitra Trinity of Poets, was the court poet of Prolaya Vema Reddy. He completed the Telugu translation of the Mahabharata. He completed the rendition of the Aranya Parva of Mahabharata left incomplete by Nanaya Bhattu Adi Kavi who started the translation of Mahabharata into Telugu. He wrote Hari Vamsa and Narasimha Purana. Arana's translation of the Ramayana in Shapu form a style of poetry has been lost. Administration The administration was carried according to the Dharmasutras. One sixth of agriculture surplus was levied as tax. Under the reign of Anavoda Reddy, custom duties and taxes on trade were lifted. As a result, trade flourished. Sea trade was carried through the port Motupali. Large number of merchants settled down near it. Celebrating was revived during the rule of Anavema Reddy. The Brahmins were given liberal grants by the Reddy kings. Caste system was observed. Heavy taxes by Racha Vema Reddy made him highly unpopular. <laughs> Notes and references Book sources Prasad, G. Durga History of the Andras up to 1565 AD PDF, Gunter, P. G. Publishers Rao, P. Raghunada History and Culture of Andhra Pradesh, From the Earliest Times to the Present Day, Sterling Publishers, ISBN 81-207-1719-8 Rao, Velcharu Narayana Multiple Literary Cultures in Telugu, Court, Temple and Public. In Sheldon I. Pollock. Literary Cultures in History, Reconstructions from South Asia. University of California Press. pp. 383-436. ISBN 978-0-520-22821-4. Rao, Velcharu Narayana, Shulman, David 2012, Srinatha, The Poet Who Made Gods and Kings, Oxford University Press, ISBN 0199863040 via Questia, subscription required help. Talbot, Cynthia 2001, Pre-Colonial India in Practice, Society, Region, and Identity in Medieval Andhra, Oxford University Press, ISBN 978-0-19803-123-9.